let me first open the bitcoin core wallet let's hide this i don't care about that i want a private key i want a receiving address this is my receiving address so give me the private key. copy window console this is new help then private key okay so we're gonna work with this who am i talking to nobody let's create a new wallet and then import this private key and see if we will get our address back okay is that a good idea let's try it out hi everybody and welcome back to the bitcoin day trader channel and today i'm going to teach you how to import a private key into your bitcoin core wallet it sounds a little bit scary at first but it is a very easy tutorial and you'll probably do it first time first try very easy so First, you have to download the Bitcoin Core Wallet. Go to blah 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 dot Bitcoin blah blah blah, blah. After you've downloaded it, let's open it up together. Start a new wallet, and I have a private key up here, and I already have the address. There's nothing in this address, it's an empty address, but it's just to show you the technique how to do this. So whenever you have this wallet open, you can go upstairs here to window, and you can find console here. If you have an older version of Bitcoin, you will probably have help debug window, and they changed it now, it's window, and then press console. You will see this console and this is the debug window so it's the same as before but they just made it easier there's a quick access so this is the console window this console window is the way you can communicate with your bitcoin core wallet and it's always smart to start by typing help always start with help what does help give us help gives us the entire list of arguments that you can give this console so for instance you can find here blockchain information you can find here information of a, a specific block a specific transaction you can find your private keys here and you can of course import a private key so let's go to import the private key i have many questions many time email got from you private key get you want very good english i know okay so what do we want we want to import a private key so it's very easy just type import and it is even helping us out import priv key then press space and then we have to put the private key so copy the private key press paste not space but paste paste your private key press enter and if it is a correct private key it will give you a null back see let's show you what happens if you do it wrong Input pref key, press space, then copy it and let's make an error somewhere. Let's just change something into a queue and just press enter. And we get an invalid private key. You see how, how quickly you can destroy the private key just changing one of the letters? So if you see this null, that means it is correct. It has been imported. How are we sure that it is imported? Because that's important for us. Well, you can see this for sure if your wallet has been synchronized with the entire blockchain then you will see it here if there is money in that private key or on the address that the private key is referring to we can reverse the process we know that we have this address let's say we want the private key back from that address and we already know that this is the address so we say dump brief key space and then say the address that you want the private key from and now we got a private key back you see this is a way how we know it for sure. It can only give us the private key of the address and that address has been generated from the private key. So we are 100% sure now that the address and the private key have been imported. Okay, very cool, right? That's all. Not a very hard tutorial to do. That's all that you guys need to know today. Scroll through this list. It's not that hard. It's intimidating, might be scary at first, but it's not that hard. These arguments also work in the Bitcoin client while using, for instance, the command window. So, would that be fun to redo this but with the command window, just for fun, just getting this private key back? Are we gonna do this? Am I supposed to, what am I gonna do? Okay, yeah, let's do this. Let's go a little bit more intimidating, a little bit more advanced, just doing exactly the same thing, but it's just more fun. So let's use command first. So go to start, press CMD, use a command prompt window, just run as administrator. Then we have to go to the Bitcoin core folder and the Bitcoin core folder is usually installed in the program file directory. So let's go to CD for change directory, C double dot slash, type PR and tab, then it will change to program file slash and then Bitcoin. So type BI and tab and you will see Bitcoin here. That's list the directory and we can see that there are demons inside so let's go cd uh, daemon 
and we want to run a Bitcoin daemon. So let's see this list. There is the Bitcoin client and the Bitcoin D inside. And we want to start the Bitcoin D. So let's run Bitcoin D.exe. Let's say print to console so we know what's going on in the background. Yeah, let's do this. That's fine. So now we're running the Bitcoin D, the daemon in the background, and we see the log. So we're allowing the access. And what it's doing right now is um, downloading the blockchain. So this is what downloading the blockchain looks like from a backend. Very intimidating, right? And very boring. It's a lot of waiting. But why did I do this? Because I wanted to show you that we can do the same thing with uh, importing the private key and addresses with a Bitcoin client. So we need a new command window because we can't work in this one anymore. It's occupied. So let's open a new command window. I, I think we need an administrator command window because we started it in an administrator as well. So don't forget to right click run as administrator. And then we need to go back to that same directory which was cd uh, c double dot slash program files slash bitcoin slash um, daemon enter directory is it correct yes and here we have the bitcoin client.exe so it accidentally got to client because it was the first choice if i would press tab again it would choose different choices you see okay so we want to start the bitcoin client and we want the help menu did I do it right or did I do it wrong? No, it gave us the Bitcoin client option, command, option, help, list. Options, help. What do I want? I want to use the pref key command again. If I would change this word help here into dump pref key, pref key of this address. And now we will. See? So as you can see, we communicate with the Bitcoin client that is running on the background, the Bitcoin daemon. And the same principle would apply to import the address. Not dump brief key, but import brief key. And now it is importing the brief key. So you can communicate with your wallet the same way here with that same list that we just saw in the Bitcoin Core wallet. I'm going to shut down because this was all that we needed. Very cool, right? We did it. It wasn't that hard. We got it here. We know for sure that we imported our private key. We know it and we know it how to do it in a nerd way. I made this especially for one of the viewers. If you did like this video, let me know it by giving it a thumbs up and well, you know how blah, 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 blah. You know it. Hope you did enjoy it. See you guys next time. Kapow. Yeah. I have a special offer for you guys today. It's sale. You can subscribe to my channel for free. So why not do it right now? Did you hear my voice? It's sale. <laughs> oh. I'm such a moron.